tough on this one. Bama lost, so obviously we think CS standings has been shaken up. Let's take a look at the standings right now. We got Florida State, Ohio State, Auburn, Alabama, Missouri. Now we need you to explain which teams should play in the championship game. And obviously, you got to convince us. Tell us why. Uh, good luck trying to figure this out. I mean, I, I think everybody in the country wanted to see. I know Stephen A. did. I did. Florida State, Alabama. You know, everybody felt like they were the two best teams. But college football, no playoff system. The regular season matters. As it stands now, if Florida State beats Duke in the ACC title, if Ohio State beats Michigan State in the Big Ten championship. I feel those two teams are the most deserving and would be playing in Pasadena, much to the chagrin of the SEC faithful yeah. who feel like a one-loss SEC championship would deserve it more. When I, when I look at the SEC, yes, they're a great football conference, but I don't see them as, and you hear this in uh, people when they talk about the SEC, it's deferred as head and shoulders above the other conferences, yeah. where I feel the margin has been getting slimmer and slimmer every year where it has to mean something. If you run the table in any automatic qualifying conference, any of the big conferences, you deserve that shot to go to Pasadena for the national title. Auburn AD making the case that they, they belong in Pasadena. Yes, he's calling us unpatriotic, yeah. you know, un-American. And I, I mean, for me, that's a little bit outlandish. I know he's trying to make the case for his team. But if I'm Auburn and I'm yeah. Gus Malzahn and I'm their athletic director, I would be more worried about beating Missouri and then having that argument first before going out there and politicking now. Skip, you, you want to pass the phone? Uh, yeah. I do believe that you're right when you say the politicking is a bit premature mm -hmm. because you do have a game against Missouri coming up. A very and, good and, Missouri and, and, and a very good Missouri team, a top five Missouri mm -hmm. team, a team that can end up beating you and putting themselves in position for a national championship. I do believe that the politicking on the part of Auburn is premature, although I understand where they're coming from. We don't have a four-game playoff system until next year, quite frankly. I think it should be eight games. Me too. Teams, right? I'm with you. Not four. But I also, I also think that despite the fact that it was premature, we have to understand where they're coming from. I am a guy who believes that Ohio State should play for the national championship. I don't like how they beat Michigan the other day. I don't like the fact that they gave up 41 points. I don't like the fact that they were a failed two-point conversion away from losing this game. I really, really don't, although, although we understand the magnitude of this rivalry. I look at Ohio State, however, and what I can't get over is the fact that since Urban Meyer has arrived, they are perfect. They have not lost the game. Now, looking at their schedule and reading from USA Today, where it says that Ohio State has the 61st, they rank 61 in terms of strength of schedule. The Seminoles, Florida State, are 66. That's the Sagarin. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, the Sagarin, yeah. the Sagarin Raiders. I'm sorry. You've got Alabama's 48, and then you look at Auburn at 26, and you look at this, you look at those those ratings. You pay attention to that. That's not the only thing that's going to factor into the equation. But we understand that they beat some top ranked teams, including the number one ranked team in the nation. Then I'm looking at Ohio State and Buffalo, San Diego State. California, Florida A&M, beating number 23 Wisconsin, that was a great game by the way, beating number 16 Northwestern, that was another good one, Greenies still hasn't recovered from that, you got Iowa, Penn State, Purdue, Illinois, Indiana. These are terrible teams you're talking exactly. about. Exactly, and so for me, I get where Auburn's coming from, it's a bit premature, mm -hmm. but then I weigh it against. So you got Ohio State and Florida. I, I, I got Ohio. But now you don't. I'm very confident. Though. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, is that it's hard for me to see a team. Urban Meyer didn't pick the schedule. I don't know if Urban Meyer is on the record saying I don't want to play the top-ranked teams. Keep me away from them. Let me have this week to sort this bloody schedule. I don't know. I don't know that Urban Meyer. All I know is an Urban Meyer that won national championships in Florida, and I know an Urban Meyer that took over this program that was just, just plummeted once Trestle left and literally, instantly turned them around and said, that, you know, we haven't lost the game. The man hasn't lost the game since arriving at Ohio State. How am I going to look with a straight face and go like this? No, you don't get to play for the national title. I don't, I don't know how you do that. I really don't, Skip. I do. Okay. Yeah. I Perfect. love Urban Meyer. I would look him right in the eye and say, Coach, you just don't deserve it. Not off the 61st strength of schedule in the country. Not off of beating Wisconsin at home by seven points. And then Wisconsin on Saturday lost at home to Penn State by seven. Are you kidding me? And that's your most impressive win of the year? 
It, they don't belong. I'm sorry. If you go to your arch rival and give up 41 points and 603 yards. Yeah.